homes. I want you to do everything everybody else does, okay? But they have to understand what's going on. His stomach muscle for whatever unusual condition called prune belly syndrome didn't form while he was in the U.S. He has a few muscle fibers. The reason they call it prune belly is there's usually a few fibers, but instead of having a million hairs, you would have a hundred. So when Max tries to do a sit-up, you'll see his stomach kind of puckers, because you'll see the few fibers try, but there's not enough there for him to do anything with. He had to do reconstruction here and give him a belly button. That's, that's the last thing I would ever do to a sit-up. Right, because it's too hard. It's just mm -hmm. too hard. Yeah. The, the push-ups I can do, but the sit-ups I can't do. Okay. And the push-ups we have to really want to instead of doing real push-ups because he doesn't have anything to provide the support for the chair. So he has a little bit of support here. It's mostly support from the skin that's helping his organs in there. Can you do that cough for me again? Okay. And you can see, can you do it one more time? When he goes to cough, you see that the, the pressure goes out here. So the binder helps to give him some pressure. Now I'm making you sick. Okay. Oh, he is sick, actually, Mary. So just yeah, well, well, then this is perfect. perfect. This is perfect. I stayed home. I just, I stayed home today. All right, I'm going to put my chair on the other side um, so that everybody can see and we get it on the camera. Okay. So am I too That's close? Perfect. Um, we can speak. Yeah, let's get back on that. That was perfect. 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 Okay, so you see when Max coughs, the, the pressure that he needs mostly comes out through his stomach, and then that's what makes him much more likely to get pneumonia. So that's always his big thing. The binder helps. It's easier to cough. I'm going to have you show them chicken wings, and then I'm going to show them what they can do to help you cough as well. Okay? So you're going to demonstrate chicken wings, so we have it on video. Yeah, but I need that here, a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. You don't even have to take it for you, Max. I don't think I'm going to have you take your arms out that far. Let's, just, let's modify this a little bit. A little breath in. Now on your own. One more. Okay. What I don't want him to do that he's doing right now is more slapping. Because that, that winds up causing, it makes it uncomfortable. Does it ever get red here, Max? Um, yeah. A little bit uncomfortable? Okay. Then let's do this instead. With your arms up here. They call it chicken wings for good reason because they look like chicken wings. Okay, so you just leave your arms right there. All I want you thinking about, Max, is going to have you just lean back against my legs right here. It helps him to cough. It gives a squeeze down here. And I'm actually going to teach them all. They all have to do it to them. Okay? A little breath in next. On your own. There, that's better. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what to do. So now you can go wider and catch all of them. Max, you can put your shirt on for a second. Okay. okay, what you guys need to do is this. Make sure you're not going to hit anybody next to you. But you need to be able to get your arms up like this. Once Max, Max right now is slapping. And when you slap, all you do is get the chest wall sore. Can you see all of us? Yeah. In here? Okay. Okay. So the movement is like this. This is very kind of because by the way, it's not just from above and everybody needs a little bit of help coughing. If the elbows come up above 90 degrees, it helps you take a bigger breath in. So anybody who's just kind of sick and they can barely take a breath in, it's eyes up and head up, and that helps you just take a bigger breath. You just can do that much first. And you just feel where you got a big breath in. Now when the arms come down, you're using it for people some kind of weakness with their stomach muscles. In Max's case, he doesn't have any stomach muscles that's are they be considered weak, but they're not even there to strengthen. But it's not, Max is just doing this. It's not bouncing, it's about okay. Or as I always say for women, it's about cleavage. It's, it's arms down and forward here. So just do this end with me. If you do just the end, which is what I was trying to have Max do again, all I want you to do is this. Just you should be able to feel the air. Listen to what happens. I'm not pushing the air out. The air just comes out. Yeah. A little faster. It's not coming out. So first take breath. Yeah, and I was When you do it well, it's a fast 
you notice the little fast? Okay, it's a short. I'm not, I'm not pushing the air up. My elbows are pushing the air up. So this is a really nice technique for Max to do. This is what he's doing right now. The, the tie is a no, bar. No, tie bar is a okay, bar. This one you were doing, you were doing what Max was doing, which was flopping. It's not flopping. Cleavage. <laughs> it's here. You want to think of you're squeezing. Essentially, you're here, and that's what pushes the air out. So if your arms just come down here, all you're going to do is work your sides. And that's what Max was doing right there. We're doing a real clean one, Max. We're going to work on that a little bit more big buddy. Because it's a great technique, especially if you don't have stomach muscles. Because if he had, let's say he was sick with the flu, and he's having trouble coughing, now you can't get into his stomach because that's going to make him throw up. It's like, not a problem, Max? Do the chicken noodles. The real name is called forced expiratory technique. I'll stick with chicken wings. Mm -hmm. right. Everyone knows it as chicken wings. For me, I just have to say that for the camera, that the real name is the four steps for turn technique. I don't know if that beat you. Okay. I, didn't even, I didn't understand the word. I know you did. You're a big guy. You're going to stand right in front of me. Okay. I'm um, just locking his hips to give him a little bit more of a lens here. Because this might be the kind of thing that you could work on this side with him in the gym. All I want is just here. Let me have these arms. I get these arms. You can see what we're doing. Okay, yeah, that, 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 no, not that, that much. Do you feel tired when you're doing that? No. Hey, 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 hey. No, hey, no. You can throw this boy around. Okay? <laughs> He's got brothers. They throw him around. Dad's throw him around. I want him thrown around. I want him doing as much as he can do. I want his arms up doing activities. So I want him doing everything except a direct blow to the sun. But if he always has his binder around at school in particular, that really gives good support. Because anybody could get hurt. I don't care you know, who they are. If there's always a way to, you're going to fuck your eye out. You know? um, but I do want him doing as much as possible. And knowing that chicken wings is a really good technique. And that is something actually I'm thinking um, are for you as a nurse. That's a real handy thing for anybody who's having some trouble breathing or having trouble coughing or saying cough. It's like, try this one. Like that. Mary, one of the concerns that we had that why this all started was the first week of school he needed to throw up. And I've always showed, I was showing them how I help him. If you want to maybe show that on film, mm -hmm. how he holds his stomach in while it's expanding so he can throw up. I really, okay, I don't, really don't, you really don't do it. No, I just no. hold it. I need to have your mom show, show first and then I'm going to get something. Max, yeah, can you take your shirt off? And help he helps me. He is. It, truly, Max knows his body and knows that better than any of us ever. He'll, he'll say, you know, but I'll talk about think he's bad and he'll think I'm not. Other times I think he's fine and he, you know, he's really good about it. So when he turns, so the coffee can turn while your stomach comes out. So that coming out needs to just be suppressed in. So it's where his stomach bulges out, I just keep my hands on. So like, if you were going to throw up, Max, lean like you're going to throw up. And he goes to throw up. This is expanding. And I, I feel like I'm pushing in, but I'm really just supporting it and holding it tight. Mm -hmm. and that's the main thing. Here, do it again, throw. Max. The leg you're going to throw up. And I just keep holding it. Mm -hmm. and, help and if he actually needs a cough assist, and that's a really good thing to talk about, is the fact that if he needs it for, for throwing up, he'll get, what we normally get is a spasm in our stomach muscles. We can't help but throw up because you get a spasm in this, the muscle of the stomach as well as our stomach muscles. But for Max, he only gets it in his stomach muscle, but nothing else to force pressure. So Marianne is just being his stomach muscles for him. He'll leave the binder right on, put the pressure right over it. If he needs more, he's choking his coffee. I'm going to have to do a high neck type assist. And the real key with that, Marianne, I'm going to switch it again. Yeah. Make sure that we have it on camera. I just want to get started. This Does all this make sense? I mean, it's all it's pure mechanics. It's not that his lungs are diseased, but the problem is without having stomach muscles, 
your lungs right, you can't cough. So your lungs were fine, but you can't cough, and now the germs have a chance to take hold and you might get them sick. It also makes it difficult for bottom of blood because there's nothing to be able to push for evacuation. So the kids with prune belly syndrome are much more prone to urinaries, um, urinary tract infections, lung infections, as well as problems related to chronic constipation. So things where you need some pressure. Okay, so this was the one that you're doing if he's going, if he needs to get sick. That's been funny. You're going to just, you can just interlace your fingers and notice you kind of take him. I, I just give him a little bit of support here. That way he doesn't have to worry about his balance. If he's sick, this is not a time when he should be worrying about his balance. And then you come in from the side to support him all the way from the side. Bring your fingers out and your big hand that's convenient. And take it all the way to the front. So I'm totally his stomach muscles for him. It also works for cough. Now, if he just needs a little bit of help for cough, he can do the chicken wings, or you can hold him here. But if he really needs to cough, you're going to have to help to give him pressure. So you're going to do the same concept here. It's a modified Heimlich type of system. Because a Heimlich, you would normally come in with you. Okay? But the normal Heimlich, you come down to about the belly button or lower. And you've done something, right? Mm -hmm. okay. You come to the belly button or lower. You use your hand open, and you bring your hand up and back as if I was going to reach to the mid part of his back. So the direction max, I'm just going to show him a little bit of direction. Take a little breath in, and just let it go. Breath in. Okay, so if he needs just a little bit of help, you can do a high one. And you notice I'm not doing it very aggressively because otherwise that's uncomfortable. You <laughs> really do it when you need it. The problem with the Heimlich for Max is he doesn't have normal stomach muscles. So if I'm only giving him help here and he needs more than that, the pressure for Max is coming out here. So I really need two hands. And since you guys are in elementary school, it's convenient because the bodies are smaller. When he gets bigger, we will just keep making adjustments as we need to. So you need to come in and grab, just like you were doing for, you know, for throwing up, is grab more of his whole belly. My pressure is, if Max, I'm going to turn on your side this way so I can show how the camera comes down your side. Thank you. My pressure is this way. So from lower, as if I was going to take a line straight through it. You see that? Yeah, perfect. So when he just needs a little bit of help, Max, breath in. Okay, and you can hear where I can force the arrow. So my pressure is coming up this way. It was on a string. How much pressure can you There it was just very low. He needs just a little bit. And like Marianne was saying, Max is really good about knowing what he needs. So if he needs more, you lock his hips in, just to give him a little bit better balance. If he does need it, I'll tell you. You take your hands from the side, so you're grabbing the whole stomach wall. My pressure is still coming up in this direction. It's just that I've got his whole body. Okay, so now Max is going to force the air out a little bit easier. Okay, ready? Breath in. And up. Breath in. Breath in. Go. Can we do one more? Okay. You can hear that it's much stronger. Now, I'm going to have you do it with the cough since you're kind of sick today and like this. I'm going to do it with this time. Let's do three of them. That was a good one, actually. Again. And one more. Okay. You actually brought stuff up the first time. Do you need to drink water? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 